All right, guys, it's Thursday, and Thursday we have started a new series called Piao. <laughs> no, I got asked last week, what the heck is PYOW? PYOW stands for Premier Yarn of the Week. So I just shortened it to Piao because it sounds funny and it makes me laugh every time I say Piao. And it's a lot easier for me to put Piao in my. <laughs> In my my uh, planner for the week of the videos that I'm planning on recording, I just put P.O. So, P.O. guys, P.O. It's Thursday. So, <clears throat> this week's this week's yarn from Premiere, our Premiere yarn of this week is Premiere Bamboo Joy. Now, I was going to show you guys this yarn a couple weeks ago because it was on a really good sale. I think it was like three for six dollars or something like that. And I searched and searched and searched and could not figure out where I put it because I knew I had several of these in my stash and I could not find them. So that's what started the whole room clear out and room dismantling and getting rid of the yarns that did not bring me joy anymore. P.S. The bam bamboo joy totally brings me joy. It totally brings me joy. So <laughs> to start off with, this is a partially used skein because I have used this in another project. So I'm going to have to try to figure out what I did with the end because that is not it. That is the outside end and I don't work from the outside. And there's little pieces of, for some reason, my daughter's hair on this because her hair is red. <laughs> so why are you losing focus? Probably going to have to recenter pull. This yarn is Premier Bamboo Joy. My camera keeps making it blurry and I got yarn barf. It's all good. It's all good. As long as we can find one of the ends and keep the camera in focus. Maybe I just need to keep my hands up there so it stops going in and out. Nope, it's still going in and out. It's good. It's good. Um, we're having technical difficulties today. Our brains are not working properly. There we go. We just needed to pull the camera back a little bit because it's being finicky. We're two minutes in and we're already having issues. <laughs> Okay, yarn barf and unfocusing. So, focus. Focus. This is 328 yards. It is a 50% bamboo, 50% acrylic. Why are you not? All right, I had to adjust the focusing. I think we're all good now. The settings were off, so it's all good. This is the, once again, <laughs> let's rewind. Premier Bamboo Joy is 328 yards, 50% bamboo, 50% acrylic. It is a lightweight number three or a DK weight. Machine wash, cold, lay flat to dry. Although I can tell you that if you have like a really good um, washing machine like I do, that will spin all of the water out of your, your garments then you don't have to really worry about it laying flat to dry because it'll be dry by the time you pull it out of the washing machine. However, you can also put this in the dryer on fluff with itself, like by itself, and it would be okay. It's not going to, like, give you problems, but, like, you know. Long term, you want this to last a long time, I would suggest following the directions. But I tend to wash everything on gentle anyway, and then I throw it in the dryer on light. Or I hang it up, or I drape it over something to dry. So this yarn, I have used this in the past. I think last year or the year before, I bought it in all of the beautiful pastel colors that it comes in. Um, I bought it in this color, yellow, and I believe I have it in pink. And I might have it in a blue shade, but I'm not 100% on that. This is the one that I have out available today. This is mint. It recommends a four millimeter hook or four millimeter needles. I have a G plus hook, so that's like a 4.25 or something like that, I think. So I'm just going to come on today and I'm going to work up a sample. This Premier Bamboo Joy is really good for um, something that you want soft and that's, it's lightweight. Scarlet would like to apologize for being so rude. There's a lot of business and stuff happening on the street today and the dogs are antsy. So this yarn, it says it's a three weight. It looks in the hand like a four weight because it is very, um, 
it's very fluffy. It's, it's hard to explain. It's very fluffy spun, but when you work with it, it tends to pull out a little bit more and get thinner. So it's fluffier, which means when you're working it, it will pull thinner, but then when it's worked up into the thing and the stitches relax, it will get a little bit puffier again. It's really a cool yarn. And I like that it's bamboo and acrylic mixed 50-50 blend because acrylic tends to get really hot when I make garments out of acrylic and they, it doesn't breathe. And the bamboo makes this slightly less hot of a fabric when you make something. So I'm just going to work up a quick little sample for you guys. Um, the bamboo, bamboo yarn in general tends to be splitty. And I mean like super super splitty if you guys watch tomorrow's video i'm going to show some bamboo and bamboo style yarns that are they're not they're not horrible but they are bamboo tends to be splitty i don't care like what you do to it like it tends to be splitty but because this is mixed with acrylic and because it is spun the way it is spun with the acrylic to where it's like that fluffiness this doesn't split on me like at all and I think it's because of the acrylic that's in there. And so I really like that. I really like this yarn. And I wanted to show you guys a couple weeks ago because I was like, hey, it's starting to get summer. So we need warmer, warmer weather outfits and we need warmer weather type, you know, yarn. Because <laughs> we don't want, I mean, acrylic is fine, but acrylic tends to get really hot, especially where I live. It's hot. It's humid here. And um, acrylic is a no-go. It is a no-go in the southern states of America because it's just too hot and humid here. I mean, you could totally make a shawl out of this and wear it indoors if you're cold in the air conditioning or a cardigan for that matter. But this yarn, I really like this yarn when I first got it because it's soft. It's soft. I mean, acrylic anyway from Premier Yarns tends to be soft, but when you mix bamboo with it, it just makes it like soft. Now, this is not as soft as the Premier Anti-Pilling Acrylic that they carry, but it's definitely softer than the Basics. So, and I really, really like this yarn. I think it's beautiful. It works up really nice. And I don't know if you guys can see, because this is a light color. It's got a really good twist on it. It's got a really good twist, which leads to decent stitch definition but at the same time it's also fluffy so you get like the fluffiness to it it's not fuzzy or furry at all but it's it's fluffy you know i think it just works up pretty so that was i think that was double crochets was it doubles yeah I'm losing track i was in autopilot <laughs> like, what am i even doing now i'm doing half doubles and this yarn, because of the bamboo, slides really easily on your hook. So if if you don't like yarn that, like if you if you are losing the, like if you're slipping out of your loops too easily, switch hooks. Um, because I can feel that if I were crocheting at full speed than I normally crochet, that I would come slipping out of these hooks because this is kind of a smooth yarn. And with this hook particularly, like the smoothness together, I could feel that I would slip out. So I would probably use either a resin or a wood hook to slow myself down using this yarn so that I am not sliding out so much. Chain one turn. That's half doubles. We're going to do some singles. Now that I have cleared my room out some, I'm getting to the point where I'm actually using the yarns that I want to use instead of trying to use up the ones that I want to get out of my way so I can get to Because what I was doing is I was like, okay, I'm using up the yarn that I don't really care for that much so that I can save the good stuff. And I realized I don't want to do that anymore. So now I'm to the point where I'm actually using the good yarn, using the yarn that I want to use. And I'm finding so much more joy in the process of working with it because A, it's soft, B, it feels nice on my skin, and just there's a sensory thing. Like I've talked to you guys about sensory on this, this channel before. I have sensory issues where some 
things that I touch make me cringe. Um, the same is the opposite for things that feel really good to me. Like I almost get like a euphoria feeling like it just feels so good to just rub on something that's soft. <laughs> I just like it. I just like it. That's why I love yarn so much because it's a sensory thing for me. It's a comfort thing. When my sister was a baby, when she was real little, she had a satin nightgown and she would hold it in her hand and she would do this until she fell asleep for comfort. And I always thought she was weird. I was like, why does she do that? Mom, why is she so weird? <laughs> Cause I didn't do that. I do it now. I absolutely do it now. I got no shame in my game. I'm going to do some puff stitches here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Little beans. These are bean stitches. One, two, three. And this is one of those yarns that just gets me in the feels. I just like the way it feels. I like the squishiness to it. I, I mean, the fact that it is hand or machine wash, lay flat to dry, that might be a problem for like a new mom that doesn't want to lay stuff flat to dry. But if you're making this for your own kid and you know like it's something special that you want to treasure, I would absolutely make something baby out of this because it feels so nice. Like this would make a gorgeous baby blanket. Um, but like a keepsake baby blanket that you don't mind hand washing. So for yourself or for like a grandkid that you know like the parent is not gonna say oh god I don't want that I hate crochet stuff somebody that's willing to take care of it somebody that appreciates crochet this would make a beautiful baby thing for them this would make a really nice baby sweater this would make a gorgeous shawl two three See, isn't that pretty? I just really like that. I really, really like that. This yarn is a really, really good yarn. Um, I can't recommend it enough. I really enjoy working with it. It just feels so nice. And I know I'm totally tangling it. And I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. So check out Bamboo Joy. Um, <clears throat> I'll be right back and let you know the price as of today. All right. So it is $5.99 currently. But it does occasionally go on sale for like crazy prices, like three for six dollars and stuff like that, or even two for six dollars. So that's basically buy one, get one free. And it comes in, I already forgot how many colors it came in one, two, three, four, like nine colors, maybe 12 colors. I don't know. But they're all like really pretty colors. And um, there's a, they have a lot of pastels. A lot of their colors are pastel. So I have this beautiful mint color. Like I said, I have it in a, a beautiful baby yellow. I have it in a pastel -y pink. It comes in a gorgeous coral color. And then it comes in some neutrals. It is just a really nice, beautiful yarn. But I wanted to showcase this yarn for you this week because Premier Bamboo Joy is really nice to work with. Um, the downfall is that it's lay flat to dry, but you can at least machine wash it. And honestly, if you machine wash it, <clears throat> you could throw it in the dryer on like fluff and just get some of the excess water out of it. And then it's easier to dry that way. I think, like I said, it's soft. This will make very nice spring, fall, summer garments. As long as you can wear the acrylic, like I can't wear acrylic in the summertime, but like this is beautiful shawls, baby sweaters, cardigans, baby blankets, a lap gown. Any of those things would be a beautiful project to make with the Bamboo Joy. So this has been your Piao Premier Yarn of the Week video. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. I am currently picking out my yarn for next week to feature to show you another Premier Yarn of the Week. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.